And I don't know. I can't speak for everybody else, but I'm from Santana Block Crip, so it's gonna do what it do. And welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. Just off that, you know what we're gonna talk about in this episode. We're gonna talk about the Santana Block Compton Crips. The Santana Block Crips are on the east side of Compton and would emerge in the 1970s. But they started off as two different gangs the Midtown Crips, and the Old Park Crips. The two gangs would later come together, and Ken Bullet Tate was a loved and prominent person in that area, and he was one of the main faces in that area pushing the formation of both crews together. By 1978, Ken Bullet Tate lost his life. It was said the Paw Rules were being held responsible for this. This took an R-rated war between the Crips and the Paw Rules to another level. This would be crazy with the Santana Blocks being near many Paw Rules sets, with them being on Rosecrans just like many Paw Rules. The Santana Blocks will become a well-known gang with legendary figures like Turtle and Baby Gangsta, who helped create the CC Riders, an alliance of Compton Crip gangs. In the earlier years of Compton, many of the Crip sets who currently beef were actually allies and even hung out and even pushed the Compton Crip alliance hard. But going into the 80s, some rivalries would start to form, which led to many shootings and some gang wars we still have today. The Santana Black Crips became rivals of other Crips like the Nutty Black Crips, the Southside Compton Crips, the Park Village Crips, and the Atlanta Drive Crips, among many. And these wars still currently go on today. Some of the Santana Black Crips Piru rivals are the Luda Park Pyrus, the Mile Pyrus, and the Elm Street Pyrus, among many. The Santana Black Crips even beef with some Serrano sets. With many rivals, the Santana Blacks do have some allies, like the Neighborhood Compton Crips, the Pocket Hood Compton Crips, the Kelly Park Compton Crips, and the Parma Black Compton Crips. But with that being said, let's get into some cases. January 6, 2008. Jacob, Damon, and Terrell were at a bar in Long Beach. Luis, who was from Long Ole, seen the three men and started banging and yelling Crip Killer. Damon, who was from Santana Block, didn't appreciate the disrespect to Crips, and him and Luis got face to face, and this led to a fight. Luis was kicked off the bar by the security guards. Towards the closing hours of the bar, Luis came back with another man and yelled out, What's up now? Luis pulled out a strap, and this led to a fight between the two groups. This led to Terrell being shot, but he survived. Luis and his homie then ran off the bar and fled. Terrell and the bartender picked Luis from a photo lineup and even testified at his trial. Luis will be sentenced to life. Rock from Palmer Block and a dude named Greg got into an altercation outside of an apartment building in Compton. This led to Rock punching Greg out and Greg ducking that fade and going in his apartment with his family. By this time, two of Rock's homies from Santana Block, Kevin and Maurice came and tried to get Greg to come outside to run Rock's fade, but once again, he turned it down. Greg was so scared, his sister and mom came out and tried to defuse the situation, but this ain't go good. Rock started disrespecting them and calling them out their names. This led to Greg's mom saying, I'm gonna call the Nutty Blocks on y'all, which are rivals to the Santana Blocks and the Palmer Blocks. Eventually, Greg came outside and he seen Rock hitting his mom. I guess this made him snap and grow a pair because he pulled out a strap and started firing at the Palmer and Santana members. This led to Rock being shot six times, taking his life. Greg then ran back to his apartment in shock. He was later picked up, and he told the police the shooting happened over a female that Rock wanted. Rock wanted to fight him over the female, over some rumors. When Greg seen him hit his mom, he had to protect her, he said, and said he was scared for his life. Greg only received manslaughter and got six years. On January 23rd, 2008, around 3 p.m., George, Angel, and David were at a gas station on Long Beach Boulevard in Linwood. They were from Linwood Paragon. Darion and Kevin were from Santana Block. They would walk by the gas station and Angel hit them up and asked them where they was from, which both Santana Block members ignored them and this led to the Linwood Paragon group to bang on them, which the Santana Blocks wrapped back and Darion reached for his waist like he had a strap. This was a bad mood because he was pump faking and he didn't have a strap at all. The Linwood members then got in their car and yelled, I'll get the strap. The Santana Blocks quickly got out the area. The Linwood members drove around to find the Santana Blocks, which they did. Angel and David hopped out the car and began firing at the Santana blocks, which Darion ran and was shot twice. Kevin had to drag him to safety, which they both survived. Just later that day, George, Angel, and David will all be arrested, and all three men received life. This next case is about a failed lick. On August 18th, 2010, a young man came into Arturo's jewelry store. Arturo and his co-worker Maria Dr. Dude looked suspicious off his movements and his questions. He left and didn't buy anything. Several hours later, the same man named Brandon and his crew of Santana Block members came back. It was Brandon, Jeremiah, Trayvon, and another man entered the store. They tried to do a smash and grab and pulled out hammers and began to smash the showcases, taking jewelry. But Arturo wasn't going for this. 
He pulled out a strap and started firing. He fired 15 shots at the Santana members, leaving Brandon, Trayvon, and Jeremiah shot up. Brandon and Trayvon crawled out the store, and Jeremiah and the other man fled. The whole incident was recorded by a Torah security system. Jeremiah had been shot three times and was taken to the hospital. Brandon was found face first into the sidewalk. He lost his life. Trayvon and Jeremiah were seriously injured, but both survived. Jeremiah and Trayvon will be charged with the death of Brandon. Jeremiah received 16 years, and Trayvon received life. On July 12, 2012, a young dude named Josh was stealing cars for some of the Southside Compton Crips missions. He was a part of that gang. He took the police on a high speed chase that day, which led to him getting arrested. But police put two and two together and found out he was the one responsible for stealing a lot of cars, and those cars were used to go on missions. On June 1, 2012, a Southside Crip member was allegedly killed by a Santana block. Over the next few days, this led to four shootings in the Santana blocks and one Santana block member losing his life. Now the police tried to charge Josh with some of these shootings, but had no real proof he did anything besides stealing cars. So he only received a maximum charge of seven years. In September 2013, Jason from Southside Compton Crip pulled up on a Santana block member named Daniel's house. He shot Daniel's brother, but shots was fired back and Jason lost his life. The following months was a full-fledged war. It was shootings nonstop between the two gangs. On May 5th, 2014. Southside members were shot and killed either by the neighborhood Crips or the Santana Blocks who are allies. On May 17th, at Wilson Park and Santana Blocks turf, a person will be shot. On May 19th, a woman will be shot and killed in Santana's turf after a drive-by at her family's house. Two Southside Compton Crips, Anthony and Kavan, tried to shoot at two Santana Block Crips who were on the street at the time, but shot at the house and shot a Santana Block member's sister. On May 21st, Daniel from Santana Block drove on Benny Street in Southside's turf and shot two people taking one life. Daniel was later identified off his car and was soon arrested. He received 25 years to life. Samir and his wife Tia were working at a store called Alessandro's. When around closing time, some individuals from Santana Block named Marshawn and Christy entered the store to rob it. They had straps on their hand and demanded the money. Samir gave the money from the register and said that was all they had. Marshawn demanded more money and told Christy to grab Tia. At this point, they messed up. Samir was an ex-police officer, so he was good with that tool. He pulled out his own strap and started firing. He shot Marshawn multiple times, taking his life. Christy tried to run, but was shot three times before she could escape to the car. The getaway driver then drove off. The getaway driver name was Jerron, and he also was from Santana. Jerron and Christy both got charged with the failed robbery and Marshawn losing his life. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.